8th Social Science, Geography. Chapter 26, Hydrosphere. Exercises. 1. Fill in the blanks with suitable words. 1. The average depth of the continental shelf is 100 fathoms. 2. 1 fathom is equal to 6 feet. 3. The deepest point in the ocean is the Challenger Deep. 4. The average salinity of the ocean water is 35 ppt. 5. During new moon and full moon, spring tides occur. 2. Answer the following questions briefly. 6. What is hydrosphere? Answer. 71% of the total area of the earth is surrounded by water. This is called hydrosphere. 7. Mention the four major parts of the ocean flow. Answer. The four major parts of the ocean flow are 1. Continental shelf 2. Continental slope 3. The deep sea plain and 4. The ocean deep 8. State the difference between ocean currents and tides. Answer. Ocean current. The ocean currents are the regular movement of ocean water from one region to another. They are of two types, warm currents and cold currents. Tides. Tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or ocean level. Tides are of two types. High tide and low tide. 9. Distinguish between spring tide and neap tide. Answer. Spring tide. Spring tides take place when the earth, the moon and the sun are in the same straight line, e.g. New moon and full moon. When the spring tides take place, high tides are the highest and low tides are the lowest. Neap tide. Neap tides occur on the first quarter and last quarter days in the phase of the moon. During neap tides the sun and the earth are in the same straight line and moon is in right angle to the earth. In this type of tides the high tides are not very high and low tides are not very low. 10. How can we conserve the oceans? Answer. We can conserve the oceans through following methods. 1. Oil transportation should be done through pipelines. 2. Nuclear waste should not be dumped into the sea or ocean. 3. Petrochemical industries in the coastal regions must avoid dumping. Effluence into the sea or ocean. 4. Dumping of any waste near the ports and harbors must be controlled. 5. Ore deposition and mineral exploitation along the coast must be controlled. 6. Exploitation and destruction of beaches must be controlled. 3. Match the following. Answers. A. B. 1. Fathom. E. Measuring the depth of ocean. 2. Oyashio. C. Cold current. 3. Gulf Stream. B. Eastern coast of USA. 4. Sea mounts. A. Deep sea plain. 5. Agulhas current. D. Indian Ocean Current. 4. Define the following. 11. Continental Shelf. Answer. Continental Shelf is the shallow area along the sea coast. This part is bordered by the sea coast on one side and continental slope on the other side. The average depth of the continental shelf is 100 fathoms. 12. Salinity. Answer. Salinity is the percentage of salts dissolved in the sea or ocean water. The average salinity of the ocean water is 35 parts per thousand. 13. Warm and cold currents. Answer. Warm currents originate and flow from the equatorial regions to subpolar regions. Cold currents originate in the polar regions and flow towards the equatorial region. 14. High Tide and Low Tide Answer. High Tide, also known as Flood Tide and Low Tide, also known as Ebb Tide. On the water bodies of the Earth there are alternate high tides and low tides. 
Between one high tide and a low tide the time is 6 hours, 13 minutes. Between one high tide and another, the time gap is 12 hours, 26 minutes. In 24 hours, 52 minutes there are two high tides and two low tides. 15. Benguela Current Answer. Benguela Current is the cold current of South Atlantic Ocean. 16. Tides Answer. Tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or ocean level. They occur due to gravitational attraction by the moon, gravitational force by the sun, rotation of the earth and centrifugal force of the earth. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.